What's up guys? So today there was a ton of downtime, ton of maintenance, about a whole day's worth of maintenance for the North American servers. And so this brings me to a point that I haven't talked about yet here on the new Fresh Start servers, but it's an oldie but goodie trick that you can make a ton of money off of the auction house when the servers go down for maintenance or unexpected maintenance. It takes a little bit of luck, but it is worth every penny. So you go into the auction house, you click on anything, so just look at crafting for now, and then you're going to sort this by like time. Or you can specifically search for an item. So you sort it by time here, and you can see which ones are ending quickly. You click on the ones that you want to buy, or if, say, you're in the market for Sunlight Archeum, you type in Sunlight Archeum. We go ahead there, and then now we can take a look at all the time. The way to get cheap items, especially if there's server maintenance, and when there's unexpected server maintenance, is actually the best time to get these deals, because people don't have time to prepare. But you go ahead and you gather up and bid on any item that is ending within the next few hours. We don't know always how long the server maintenance will be. Today, for example, the servers were offline pretty much for about 12 hours nonstop. Which means that if you had bids on any items that were ending in the next 12 hours, you are actually going to win those items with no competition from anyone else. So currently there's a couple items that are ending right now. This one is not that great of a deal, but you get the idea. You click on it, you click bid, and then you end up winning the item because there's no one to compete against. So you just scroll down the auction house list, and you see items that are really cheap. Anything that is really cheap, you actually just want to throw a bid on in there. Just because you never know when the servers are going to go offline, you may actually win that one if the servers are offline and no one is competing for it. It's such a steal. If someone would to misclick here and put a bid price of like, you know, one gold or 50 copper, 50 silver. You could make a lot of money off of this depending on how highly valued these items are. So it looks like most of these players have not made any mistakes. Oh, there's one right here. I don't know. That's just moats. So it doesn't look like there's any real mistakes here in the Sunlight Archeum. Again, this is a, uh, a trick that a lot of people know about. So you, which the counter to this is to not make low low bid prices and again you can search for anything this method works with any items so let's go look over at let's go stone since there's a ton of stone out there so again we're in the time menu and so here's one right here we'll have to check and see if it's actually a good price for raw stone 25 silver is not a good price so don't let that trick you but here's one 33 copper for raw stone so we go ahead and click a bid on that we don't expect to win it right now because we still got five hours left. But if the servers go offline and have an emergency maintenance, we're going to actually be the one that wins that item if the servers are offline while the maintenance is going on. Because the auctions do not stop while the servers are offline. So you take a little bit of chance there. The other thing is that when they do have a scheduled maintenance, you go on here and then you bid on all the items that are going to end early or end during that maintenance. So here's another one we can bid on. And it's really fun to do because every there's a lot of people that are actually bidding on items like crazy for the maintenance. Because when the maintenance goes on, it's at least one hour. And you know anything in that next hour on the auction house is actually going to fall off. And there's going to be no competition while it's offline. So you can earn a lot of money this way. Let's go check Moonlight Archeum. So here's a good one right here. Um, if the servers were going offline in the next minute or so, we'd be able to bid on this. There is a trick to actually win these things if there's time like this. We'll save that for another video. So I'm going to end this one right here because that's the the uh, you know the, the gist of the idea is to make sure that you have bids on items. So just in case the servers go offline, search for all these things really quickly. Generally, it's easy to find because if you just search on items and you see something that has other people's bids, that generally means someone else has is, is found a good deal and you're just like, oh, okay, here, let me just piggyback on you and then go ahead and click on it. So like, all the ones where I see this other bid, I'm just going to like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And these people are doing the smart technique here. But just in case there's a server maintenance, they will win these bids because no one else has thought to kind of bid on these guys. And they're the ones that are going to, you know, be the, they're the only one that are bidding on that item. And when the servers go offline, no one can bid on the item. That's the whole point of this technique and method. It works great when the servers are broken and having errors like this because... I mean, again, today, the servers were offline for, like, 
12 hours. I mean, there's nothing you can do. It. And all your items here are going to fall off. So if you make this mistake and you list your item and you don't put a bid price, you can lose a lot of money if you do that, if you list it wrong. And you can also make a lot of money if you go ahead and scout the auction house like what we're doing here. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously.